unless something affects you and you have a personal attachment, like you know somebody that has had this or is struggling with that, then most of the time if it is inconvenient, people won't do it. And this scares the crap out of me. It's really hard until it's personal. I had some people over to my house for the first time. We sat in the backyard, safe distance from each other. If I were to find out this week that one of those people tested positive for coronavirus, that would change my whole worldview. I'd like to see the president get up and wear a mask. He won't wear a mask. All the people in the White House that have now had coronavirus, he won't even put a mask on. Like that, that is not leadership in doing the responsible thing for others in your community. Reopening the states on a state-by-state -state level at different times really makes the country vulnerable. COVID-19 in Indian country has been kind of uh, tough for indigenous peoples. The businesses are gonna have to work hard to attract customers to, to come to them and, and advertise how safe they are. We will manage it quite well. I don't think anybody's gonna do anything really foolish that will imperil uh, health. I have less confidence. And so I guess I disagree and I'm, I'm more worried. It's really scary because if I don't go back to work, the, the, the opportunities of trying to figure out what to do after that. We, you know, small business is not, we, we kind of, you know, we don't have a lot of cushion and room, wiggle room to, to kind of get us through months. So when it comes to reopening the economy, there's one very simple thing that can happen that can make it open up much more quickly and better, which has not been put in place, and that's testing, widespread testing. You know, I don't think widespread testing is the answer, but, but the way to tamp it down is, if I test positive, then all of you people on this call, if we were in a room, should get a test then. The government doesn't create any of that stuff. That's private industry. Nobody expected- but The government should be organized, though. He should be organized be to be yeah. look better than he has. As I give a lot of props to the nonprofits out there, a lot of the go-getters that have been taking care of their local communities. We have to, we have to venture out. We have to trust each other that we're going to do the right thing. And part of what I think is going to keep us honest, frankly, is each other. One word. The State of the Union is... Am I allowed to cuss? If you want to. In despair. Uncertain. Disconnected. How would you describe your level of confidence that Joe Biden's going to win? Oh, God, I guess it depends on what day you ask me. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say 70%. I just, I really think that we can't survive another four years of Donald Trump. One thing I realize is that, you know, Donald Trump has a movement right now. Trump actually has done things, he's managed things pretty well despite how personally uh, distasteful he can be to a lot of people, including me. I don't want to go back to the norm. I want to change the script. I want to be able to change the way we look at politics in America.